what's up everyone it's me narada african hair god i'm here to do a brief video just talking about my thoughts and experience doing the 14 day beginner jump rope challenge that we did live streaming last month in december and if you happen to have missed it or you want to you know partake in it after the fact you can definitely do so i'll be sure to leave the link for that with the playlist in my video description and you can check it out there and i also would like to speak on why I just fell in love with the cross rope ropeless ropes and um, I'll also include a link so that you can check out the crossless ropeless ropes in the video description as well don't forget that this video is sponsored um, and so you can get 15% off um, all the items over on crossrope.com using a discount code Narada N-A-R-A-D-A so with all of that out the way, let's go ahead and talk about my experience with doing a 14 day jump rope challenge. So I did mean to do this video quite some time ago, but um, better late than never. Yeah, I don't know, 2024 has just been a really, really busy year for me. But I will say that doing that jump rope challenge in December really helped to just get me back into being more active more consistently and i'm really thankful for it because it forced me to really commit to being there every day and putting forth that 10 minutes that 15 minutes that 20 minutes however many minutes it was for each of those days with the workouts um i felt that the beginner jump rope challenge was really really um it pushed you but it wasn't like od like you weren't like I don't know, I, I won't say that. I will say like on day one, I think I pretty much collapsed by the end of the workout. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Let's go. 10 seconds. Ah. 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 You crushed it. Ah. I crushed something. I think it was my ligament. Ah. And if I'm not mistaken, the workout was only 10 minutes, but then by the end of day 14, the last day, like I pulled through all the way to like, we did like a 24 minute workout, including a warm up. So to see like how much progress I've made with just um, my endurance and my stamina in just 14 days, um, was really, really encouraging to see. Um, and uh, there were definitely a lot of days where I just felt like I did not feel like it. I didn't want to do it, but I just kept telling myself, look, it's only 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Just get it in and go on about your day. And I think that's what's so great about jump roping is that you don't have to really commit so much time to it. Um, you can definitely just squeeze it in, in either in the beginning of the day, the middle of the day, during lunch, or even in the evening, whichever works for you. And there's so many benefits to jump roping, right? But all in all, the, I'm getting off track here, but I really, really enjoyed, um, the jump rope challenge. Um, it really helped me just, like I said, get back into working out, being consistent, and it really helped kickstart me going into the new year with working out and exercising. You all know I've been walking around Stone Mountain. I, y'all probably don't know, but I also have been um, jump roping and getting into weight training this year. Um, so I've really just been trying to do a lot of different things to just stay active and really um, get back in shape uh, and become a healthier version of me. I'm trying to get lifetime fine. So um, that's that on that. Now, I will say that with doing the beginner jump rope challenge, I did use the um, traditional jump ropes, the weighted ropes, and I also used the ropeless. While I did primarily use the, the jump ropes, I, as of 2024, I've only been using the ropeless set, and I'm gonna talk about why I just absolutely love the ropeless. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I've seen people use ropeless jump ropes before, I just thought it was kind of silly. I felt like 
you know, that, that's the whole point of the jump rope experience is to jump over the ropes. Now, keep in mind that I have been dealing with um, plantar fasciitis, which is um, severe foot pain um, just from walking, standing, jumping, running, things like that. So it's even when I was doing the 14 day beginner jump rope challenge, it was a little bit hard to push through some of the workouts because the it wasn't that I was too tired to do it or too fatigued. It was really just so much like the foot pain was just kind of too much. Over time, the more and more that I kept jump roping and, and just sticking with the workouts, I find that it doesn't hurt as much, like the intensity isn't as bad, and I can go longer periods of time with jump roping before it starts to like really hurt. So I do see benefit um, with me just being consistent and just continuing to do it. But Ropeless has really served me because uh, it allows me to still do um you know the jump rope exercise without putting so much strain on my my feet so um yeah let's let's just go into all the wonderful things about the ropeless so first off i love ropeless because there are times like throughout the you know the day where my family is home i live with my family and so, like, sometimes when I'm jumping rope with the traditional rope, they hear all of that. They hear the rope hitting the ground. They hear it whipping all over the place. And there was a couple of times when my sister was like, yo, what is going on down there? It sounds like you are just fighting somebody. Like, what's happening? So, in those times where I don't want to disturb, you know, people in my household, um, the ropeless definitely comes through. Um, also, because I'm in the basement, we have very, very low ceilings. And um, there were a couple of times where I was using the ropes during the uh, workout challenge and it, you could hear it hit the ceiling. So when I'm using the rope list, I don't have to worry about those things. So I think rope list would work really, really great for someone who is maybe like in an apartment setting or, you know, you're not able to just like be really loud with your jump roping and things. Um, it's perfect for that. Um, another thing that I really love about rope list is that I'm able to customize my jump roping experience. And I, I spoke about this um, a little bit before I got into the tips, but with ropeless, because there's no rope that you're jumping over, um, the issue that I have with traditional ropes um, is that sometimes you get in a rhythm and like you're just flowing, right? And you're just going and you're trying to get it in and then you trip over the rope and then you have to stop and it just breaks your concentration. It just breaks your flow your mindset and you have to stop and reset sometimes that can get really really annoying especially when you're trying to build up that good form that good jump roping form so that you can be as consistent as possible some days you just don't feel like dealing with that and for me ropeless comes through because it's like there's no way for you to mess up <laughs> like you just you just jump with the ropes and you just jump over it and no matter whether your jump is off or whether you're perfectly on cue on form on rhythm you can still do it on top of the fact that for me i've been customizing my workout experience with ropeless because traditionally i'll just you know do a little jump rope and then every time it comes over i do a little jump or a step but with the ropeless i'm able to double up so like because i don't want to put too much strain on my feet by you know jumping really really fast i'll just spin the rope really fast and then just kind of step or jump at half the speed so i still get that same type of intensity but not as much strain on my feet um also when my feet get sore from doing the jumping i'm able to just like not jump at all and just kind of pulse with the ropeless instead and that gives my my feet and my joints a break to kind of just like not hurt as much and then i'm able to jump again once i'm able to when, once i've recovered you know and my feet feel a little bit better so all in all the ropeless has just made working out much easier and more feasible for me to do without worrying about like straining and pain from my feet just hurting um, also, too, I've been able to incorporate other types of exercises while I'm using the ropeless. So I have done things like using the ropeless while doing squats. Um, I've also done the ropeless while doing jumping jacks, 
ropeless while doing lunges and things like that. So you can actually incorporate so many different types of workouts and blend it together to kind of fit your, you know, your your vibe or your style for the day. Um, also, too, if you're listening to music like I tend to do when I'm working out, you can kind of do a little shimmy, a little jig, a little two-step while you're doing it. And that also just helps me keep encouraged and it helps takes my mind away from the time limit that I'm trying to, you know, exercise and jump rope for. Because I usually jump rope for 15 minutes and, like, when you're watching the clock, it can take forever. But, yeah, just... All of that, it just makes it so much fun and it just makes the time fly by. Um, I will say another great point with Ropeless is that it is so great for beginners. I spoke about this just briefly, but if you are someone who is really uncoordinated or you have a hard time with traditional ropes because you keep tripping over the rope, um, with Ropeless, because there's no rope, you can just jump rope. You don't have to worry about, you know, consistency. You can develop your form with Ropeless while, you know, not having to, you know, break your, your rhythm or your vibe while you're working out. So that's, that's a great thing. Also with Ropeless, because they have different weighted sets with Ropeless, you get the same benefits that you would get from jump roping with weighted ropes you, because you have the same sensation without you know the actual rope and the the great thing about using weighted ropes which i will say honestly when people have mentioned weighted ropes to me before the idea of jump roping and adding weights to that was just so intimidating but i have since come to really love and appreciate weighted ropes i feel like i jump rope better with weighted ropes than i do with the non-weighted ropes like it just i guess because there's more weight you have more feel and feedback of like where the rope actually is versus like really really light or thin ropes so you're able to like just um have a better sensation of like when to actually jump and step over the rope it's just it's, i don't know how to explain it it's just easier I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. Um, and also too, you do kind of have to build up to heavier weighted ropes, but I I like that you're able to burn um, more or engage more muscle groups. So with jump roping, you, you're, you know, you're doing a lot of lower body, a lot of um, calves and quads, but with weighted ropes, like, you're gonna feel the burn in your forearm, you're gonna feel it in your shoulders, in your back, and even in your core more so. It's just going to add more intensity to your workout. And I don't know, but like, I've been looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, the shoulders is like, they shouldering. The arms is like, I don't know, like the, the muscle is coming in. Like I, I feel it, it's getting a little firm, it's getting a little more definition. I have been, doing free weights and stuff but i honestly when you're doing weighted ropes you're going to feel that burn in your arms you're going to feel it throughout your whole body so definitely 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 recommend that so this is my last um great thing that i love about ropeless um it's such a great cardio workout that you can do in literal minutes like whether you're jump roping with traditional ropes or using a cross rope ropeless you can, just by doing a 10 minute jump rope session, that is the equivalent of jogging for 30 minutes. Like, if you're like me, you're very, very pressed for time. Like, I really don't have a lot of time to just fool around, run to the gym, go back, go to the, the nature trail. And I tried to do that before and I always kind of felt um, like I just didn't have enough time to get home, cook, prepare for the next day, edit a video, all these different things. But it's so much easier to just wake up in the morning, squeeze in a 10 minute, or in my case, a 15 minute workout and you know shower and go on about your day. Like is because it takes less time, and you're able to burn as many calories. I find that even though I bought me a treadmill, I actually don't even use it. I'm more inclined to just grab my rope list and go for 15 minutes than to get on the treadmill for like a good 30. And I guess for me, it works out because of course my foot pain, but 
the option is there and i think it's just great that you can do all of that in such a short amount of time and still get a really good cardiovascular workout also when you are jumping rope as opposed to walking or running um you're going to as long as you're using correct form you're going to be putting less strain on your joints is very much low impact um all that i find that the running on the treadmill, the walking on the treadmill, because you're like stepping on like a hard surface repetitively, it just kind of like really causes me intense foot pain. And if anyone else is also dealing with that, I will say that jumping rope is a bit of an adjustment, but once you do it, and especially if you're on like, um, um, wood floors or if you're on like uh, a mat um, y'all know I, I never ever jump rope without my cross rope splash mat it's made such a huge difference and I think that's honestly why I'm able to jump rope for a longer period of time without you know dealing with all that foot pain so yes ropeless is my go-to um, I have not, I have so many jump ropes that I've collected over the years. Y'all know I'm not new to jump roping, but I haven't even touched them because like, once you go cross rope, you don't go back. Like it, it's just the jump rope experience along with using the cross rope app is just like on a whole different level um, and a whole different experience of jump roping than you've ever seen before. Um, so yes, I will include all the information for the rope list if you're interested into looking into it or even possibly purchasing it from crossrope.com. If you have any thoughts, any questions on rope list, or if you also would like to um, share your experience um, with rope list, if you've used it before, or if you really just enjoyed the 14 day beginner jump rope challenge, tell us about your experience. I would love to know how everyone felt about it. If you're looking forward to like maybe another uh, uh, jump rope workout situation um, I would love to hear your feedback on that so thanks for watching everybody I hope that helps any questions of course leave it in the comment section and I'll see you on the next one until then be blessed bye